So hello, I'm Frederick Dunn, and today we're going to talk about chickens. That's right, it's been a while. We're not talking about honeybees. Look at this free-ranging flock of chickens here in the state of Pennsylvania. They come and go as they like. They go to the coops at night on their own. And this is one of the best free-ranging chicken breeds. They're called Menorcas. They come from Spain. The largest Mediterranean chicken. Now that's a hen right there. We've also got some rose combs mixed in here. They're a little jumpy. That's right, they're considered flighty. Now what's that light-colored chicken in the background there? That's an Americana. They lay colored eggs. But today we're going to talk about Menorcas. The Menorcas are, as I mentioned before, they're Mediterranean birds. They're the largest Mediterranean chicken. Leghorns, for example, come from the same region. This is a rose comb rooster right in front of us. So these have been in the American Poultry Association's standard of perfection since 1888. So the single comb variety has been there and they added in 1904 the rose combs. Now this is actually a rose comb rooster, so it's not a Menorca. But we can make a comparison, but I want you to see the legs on this rascal. Look at this birds down there. They're used to defend their flock from predators or against encroaching other roosters. And we're going to see that in this video today, too. There's going to be some chicken skirmishing, some chicken violence, but nobody's going to get hurt, so don't worry about that ahead of time. One of the reasons I like rose combs, and by that I mean the comb right here on top of their head. Instead of a single comb that sticks up tall and thin, rose combs are compact down to their head, and that's good for cold weather. Uh, this bird, okay, so the Menorca comes with a single comb or a rose comb, so if you're looking for cold weather birds, the rose comb would tend to be more hardy, but if you've got good quality chicken coops that are going to keep them out of the winter wind, you can get away with both. So we're going to see them walking around. I'm just going to talk about some of the traits, and we're going to show some examples of them. Notice that the range here is really healthy. Ever since the turn of the century, we have not used any pesticides here. Now that crowing is one of the reasons that a lot of townships do not allow chickens to be kept. Or if they are kept, they'll only allow you to keep hens. Now in slow motion that could sound a little threatening. Now every once in a while, even though they have lots of room, to run around with their hens and that's right the hens pick a rooster and they tend to circle around them and that rooster protects those hens and finds food for them but you know what the roosters do sometimes they steal hens from each other now this free-ranging flock has three different chicken coops two of which are occupied and everything's more dramatic in slow motion look at his waddles just flapping in the breeze there He's got white earlobes. He's got black feathers with beetle green highlights. He's got a tall single comb. But if you look at his legs, he has little tiny spurs. This rooster is not very old, so he's not gonna be doing any scrapping. But there's another rooster that will. And he's got long spurs. In fact, it's this rooster's father. So first we go back to the rose comb. Note the spurs on this rascal. This has been the dominant rooster in this flock for quite a while. In fact, this particular rooster has proven himself. He has defended himself against the fox. In fact, three years running, this rooster has had all of his tail feathers torn out by a fox and live to grow them back. So if tail feathers break, they don't grow back right away, but if they're pulled right out of the skin, the way foxes do, they grow back. But now this rooster is about to be tested by none other than the father of all of the Menorcas we see here, another single comb, Menorca. And here they go, squaring off in normal rooster fashion, dramatized by slow motion. 
Everything that you're seeing here happened in six seconds. Now they are trying to hurt each other. They both have spurs. If you look at both of their legs, their spurs are nice and long. The one on the left is the Menorca and the one on the right is the Rose Cone. And they fight over territory every now and again, but the skirmishes are few. They don't last a long time. And other than a little humility here, none of them really get hurt. And then they run off to their hens and maybe when they're feeling stronger on another day, they'll come and try to get more territory or claim someone else's hens. The one on the right has three hens with him. The one on the left, he's got quite a few more. Now after the scrapping's over, they like to go up into tree branches and just roost there in the company of hens and friendly roosters. They set up their own little pecking order and once that's established, they're pretty peaceful overall. Even a flight from the ground to the branch of this dawn redwood tree looks dramatic in slow motion. And they actually can fly quite a distance. That's something that helps them avoid predation. I've seen them fly 150 feet to the chicken coop or to the branches of a tree just so they can avoid a predator and that's what makes these birds really fantastic free-range birds they're black we're in a northern territory here so they get more heat from the sun when they want it they also go out and forage for grass and bugs and anything they can find whenever there's not snow on the ground they even go out in the rain so they're very hardy, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to talk about them today. When it comes to free-ranging birds, you want to pick birds that are smart, quick, a little nervous even. And it doesn't hurt at all that they're big and tall. How big do they get, you may be wondering. Well, the roosters can weigh nine pounds. And the hen's a little less than that, coming in at about seven and a half tops. But there are some very good traits here. This is considered a dual purpose chicken. In other words, they're good for meat if you want to dress and eat your chickens. But they're fantastic for eggs. In fact, when we're stacking up breeds of chickens against their ability to produce eggs, these are known to produce over 300 a year. And we're going to get eggs from the hens here right through winter, and that's because they're young. So if you want to have eggs in wintertime, you don't want to artificially stimulate them with extra lighting and things like that. Uh, you can hatch young birds in May or June, and then by about this time of year, they will begin to produce their own eggs, and they'll continue to do that right through winter. So long as there's daylight, they're producing eggs. Their eggs are white, and you can tell that by the fact that they have white earlobes. Not sure if you knew that, but generally speaking, Chickens that have white earlobes will produce white shelled eggs. The shell color has nothing to do at all with their diet and everything to do with the breed of the bird. So when you see hens that have red earlobes, they will lay brown shelled eggs most often. There are some exceptions. Americanas, Arucanas, and others will produce different shell color. They also have their own coops, as shown here, and I want you to notice that the chicken coops are well off the ground, and that's because the chickens can hide under them quicker if they need to, or they want to escape a rainstorm or something like that. But it also keeps rats and mice and other rodents from building <laughs> underneath the coop. Get a close look at the feathers here. A really healthy rooster should have really bright eyes, bright color in the comb, waddles his face and uh, shiny, wet-looking feathers around the neck, as this one has. So this is a rose comb. He's a candidate for a keeper. So I look at them. Some of these roosters are going to go away. <coughs> we don't want to hear a bunch of roosters crowing all the time. So we let them grow to about a year old, and I look at the angle of their tails, how level their back is, <coughs> what the disposition of the bird is, and whether it's nice to the other hens, for example. Look at this one. Easy going, and they are considered oh. flighty, just like leghorns, but you can win them over. 
Just give them treats. Come out and hand them bits of corn if that's what you want to do. But they'll associate you with a reward. And if you stay calm, they're calm. I don't tend to pick them up and carry them around. But it doesn't hurt to get them used to being handled. And when you do that, Make sure that you hold on to them. If they start squawking, don't turn them loose while they're flustered. Hold on to them until they calm down. And then put them back on the ground because the other chickens are watching. And they don't want it to, th they don't want to think that uh, he got away from you. One of the reasons you want to be able to handle your birds is because you may have to trim their toenails. You might have to trim that upper beak if you start seeing the feathers leaving from your hens. Now another advantage to having a bird that's so large and heavy, some of the smaller hawks, like Cooper's hawks for example, can't take them away. And they don't hesitate to run out and uh, mix it up with hawks and other birds. They'll even chase squirrels. That one just fertilized the yard. So one of the reasons they're fantastic free-ranging birds is because they do so much foraging that it really reduces the amount of poultry feed that you have to buy. And like everything else, poultry feed is expensive now, more than ever. So to have your birds wandering around eating bugs all day long, clipping the grass, eating other plants, nipping this and that all day long, keeps them healthy and happy and will keep you in fresh eggs. So you might give some consideration to the Menorca. They come another, you could get a white one for example, I prefer the black. And I get them from Murray McMurray. Originally, then we hatch our own after that. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Get chickens.